Let's talk about all this Kylie Perkins drama and whether her approach is actually good for your nervous system or not. And let's talk about victimhood versus shame, how we actually develop real grit that will help us accomplish our goals in life. And we can do so while maintaining a very well-regulated nervous system so that we feel safe and good and happy and free of anxiety. I'm Dr. Sarah Hensley. I'm a specialized social psychologist, and I've been studying the science of attachment and attraction inside romantic relationships for nearly 20 years. But the hallmark of secure attachment is a well-regulated nervous system. And so there's so much debate about Kylie Perkins' approach, and I really want to get down to the nitty-gritty of why most people live in functional freeze and have trouble accomplishing what they want, and why this method in particular might not quite be the best. It needs some work. First and foremost, most Americans live in functional freeze, which is a state of being on where your nervous system jumps into fight or flight and you can accomplish tasks and you can do what you need to do. But then the moment that you can be done, you are off. It's like the light switch comes off. You are doom scrolling. You are laying around watching Netflix. You are door dashing, etc. When we are on, we are often pushing ourselves to accomplish through shame, which is activating our nervous system into fight or flight to sort of white knuckle our way through life. So we are pushing, 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 pushing until we reach a state of exhaustion, which is when we have to flip off in order to conserve energy and we go into a dorsal vagal response in our nervous system, which is essentially freeze and we can't accomplish nearly anything. We cannot and should not be teaching our nervous systems shame. Shame is the most dysregulating human emotion. It will cause you to pump out mass amounts of cortisol. It will co cause you to pump out pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can set you up for autoimmune disease and cancer. And it absolutely will cause anxiety and depression. And so if we are pushing ourselves through the story of you are lazy, you can do more, you are not doing your best, go push harder, push harder. That is a shame-based system. Your nervous system is responding to jump into sympathetic activity through shame, and that is going to ruin you. It will absolutely wreck you over time. You will see short-term results. Yes, you will be productive, but that off time is going to flip your mentality into victimhood, into a freeze response where you can then do nothing. So let's talk about the off stage. In the off stage, you go into victimhood. Oh my gosh, I work so hard. I deserve this. I shouldn't have to make myself do anything because, uh, you know, I just can't do it anymore. Life is so hard. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't. And then you feel shame for being quote unquote lazy. Okay, again, not a good strategy to maintain a well-regulated nervous system, which is gonna help you show up in your life actually responsible and help you have healthy relationships. So what is the alternative? The alternative is you need to start speaking to yourself and living your life through a lens of what if is even if, and even if happens, I can handle it. I can focus on my own competency, my own confidence in difficult situations, but I will not lie to myself when situations get difficult. So your mindset has to revolve around, yes, this feels good and okay, I will pursue it, or no, this doesn't feel good to me and it's okay not to pursue it actually have to learn to work with your nervous system and operate at the capacity that you can while reassuring yourself that when things get difficult, you can acknowledge the difficulty while also saying, I believe I can overcome this. I know that I'm competent. I know that I am capable and I'm going to take the steps that I need to take to get X, Y, and Z thing done. And when we start operating from that mentality all around inside of our life in all situations, we will start to regulate. And of course, there's more to nervous system regulation, but we will just Jump out of that functional freeze where we are in sympathetic fight or flight, pushing through, you know, pretending that we're teaching ourselves grit or victimhood, can't move, can't do anything, which is essentially reinforcing that you are not competent and capable. Every thought we have speaks to our nervous system and our thoughts and our mindset need to be focused on our competency, our capability, but also acknowledging when things don't feel good to us and really taking the time to be loving and understanding towards ourselves when we do need time to rest and relax. It is a balance that will teach you both grit and self-acceptance.